Hi, I'm Nimi Reichenberg, CMO of Simplify, and today I want to give you a high-level overview of the security orchestration and automation market. What is it about, what challenges it addresses, and what are some of the components that you can expect to find in security orchestration and automation platforms? So security orchestration and automation uh, is a fairly new market, uh, commonly goes by SOAR, um, and it's been around for a few years, uh, only a few years, but it is getting a lot of interest and growing very, very fast. And this is because it addresses some of the major challenges that security teams are facing today. And I want to go quickly go over these challenges. So the number one challenge that SOAR solutions address is that of alert overload. We know that over the past several years, we've added a lot of detection technology right, the, that detect suspicious activity on our networks or endpoints or with our user behaviors. And with the volume of these tools and the volume of the attacks, um, the level of alerts and the volume of alerts just kept increasing to a point where today it's almost impossible for a security team to effectively address each and every alert that is thrown their way. The second challenge that Source Solutions addresses is that of disparate tools. So again, over the past uh, several years, we've added a lot of tools, not just for detection, but for investigation and remediation. And if you're a security analyst today, it's very common to see you kind of have multiple consoles open in front of you, your SIM, your threat intelligence, your EDR solution, your sandboxing solution, and many more. And as an analyst, you're kind of trying to swivel through all these solutions in order to um, investigate triage, investigate, remediate all these alerts. Now, the fact that these tools typically don't integrate well with each other makes this process very cumbersome, very time consuming, and very labor intensive. The third challenge that we're going to talk about is manual processes. So, at most companies, the state of the art when it comes to security and response processes is that they're very manual and often poorly documented. Right? Maybe some of them are, are documented somewhere. But you know, it's very challenging to make sure that an analyst knows where these uh, uh, processes are documented and follows them each and every time. And of course, a lot of the knowledge still today is, is completely undocumented. There's a lot of tribal knowledge, uh, tribal knowledge that exists in, in analysts' heads, and you know, they kind of figure out, but the moment they leave the organization, a lot of that knowledge is lost. And you find that newer analysts kind of struggle with now, how do, who, how do I do things, right? What, 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 what steps do I need to take when a specific alert comes in? And finally, the talent shortage, which you know, has been talked about at length in security, between one and three million unfilled cybersecurity positions, depending on what research you read. But what that does is drive organizations to look at solutions that can automate a lot of the grunt work, a lot of these mundane tasks that security professionals do so they can focus their precious and hard to find security resources on higher value work. So those are the challenges, and this is what makes SOAR such a compelling and fast growing category. I wanna go over now, um, what are some of the kind of building blocks that you can find in SOAR solutions? So the first one, and this is kind of the uh, bread and butter of the category, is the orchestration and automation. This typically involves plugging into your various security tools uh, using vendor uh, provided API typically, and building playbooks that run through the typical actions that an analyst would take manually in responding to a specific alert. So for example, if we take a, a very common example of phishing, when a phishing alert comes in, what an analyst typically does, uh, he'd want to get more information about the user, for example, in, in Active Directory, or he'd want to get information about the sender URL in a threat intelligence tool to find out if it's malicious or not. All of these steps can be built into a playbooks, and many of them can be automated. In this example, I may be able to autom automatically close a lot of the phishing alerts that come in if you know everything comes out clean, and only let the analyst get, to get involved when something is kind of found to be suspicious and um, that analyst needs to conduct an investigation. The second building block has to do with the investigation. So, you know, we've, we've built a playbook, we've, autom you know, we've automated a certain sequence of actions and orchestrated various tools. We weren't able to close that automatically. Now an intelligent security analyst needs to look at the data and make a decision. And a good SOAR platform would have a lot of innovative tools to help the analyst make the right decision quickly so that he or she 
um, can know, you know, do I need to take a remediation activity? Uh, do I need to escalate this? What do I need to do once I've analyzed the data? The third, the third uh, major capability or building block is reporting and insights. So what social, a good source solution does is actually you know, have access and sees the different actions and activities that are taken by analysts, either via manual playbooks, uh, sorry, automated playbooks, or via manual uh, actions. And now you can actually start to draw some interesting insights from those activities to help make your security operations teams and your SOC better. These can be tactical um, um, insights. For example, if you're handling a specific alert and you're stuck, uh, maybe a source solution can recommend the next best action uh, based on historically what, what we've seen or recommend an analyst you can consult with. And these are because he's been successful closing those cases. And typically that's done via kind of machine learning algorithms. Um, and you can also do reporting at the SOC level to give the SOC manager and upper management an idea of what processes are working and what aren't. What tools are effective in um, remediating specific threats? You know, what analysts are effective at uh, remediating specific threats, et cetera, et cetera. And the last building block is what we call a SOC workbench. So a good source solution typically goes beyond just plugging into various tools and, and kind of put it, building playbooks with them. Uh, but it really is the one major workbench for the SOC analyst that you know, when he or she comes in the morning to do their job, it has not just kind of playbooks and alerts, but everything that they need to do uh, uh, their work. Similar to um, what other operations teams in the company like sales or marketing and HR typically have their um, single workbench where they go in in the morning and get, if not all, then at least most of their work done on one platform. So those are the major capabilities and I want to end with what are some of the benefits that companies see when deploying source solutions and we typically um, again group these into three. So the first thing is analyst productivity by automating and orchestrating a lot of the work companies find that their analysts are between three to ten x more productive are able to ha handle between three to ten x more alerts and obviously that's a huge game changer for a huge, huge game changer for security teams. The second thing that we see is, uh, is faster response time. So again, the average is around 80% faster response to alerts because of the automation, orchestration, and investigation capabilities that are built into these tools. And as we all know, a you know, good security team is not about preventing 100% of the threats. That's typically uh, 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 not realistic, but it is about finding which threats actually made it past your prevention defenses and identifying those very, very quickly and taking action. And that's what source solutions really help with. And the last thing has to do with the volume of alerts. Uh, a lot of these source solutions are very smart about how they consolidate alerts uh, to actually reduce the even initial workload that analysts have to deal with even before you start with the automation and orchestration to make that process more effective. So that was kind of a high level overview of the um, SOAR market. I hope you find it useful and we look forward to seeing you in other videos.